American football touchdown in Britain? The NFL just wrapped its third and final game in London, each of them sellouts. But in a country whose official game is Quidditch, is there room for a real man sport? The league's executive VP of International says yes, noting London would be up there with some major U.S. cities in terms of the number of NFL fans. He thinks by 2022, a team like Jacksonville Jaguars could make the move. The biggest barrier, though, the pond. It would take a London-based team a minimum eight-hour plane ride to its closest rival. Still, I am excited about the possibility. Obviously, some things would have to change to accommodate a British audience. The Gatorade shower would be replaced with the English breakfast tea shower. <laughs> All cheerleaders must be named Sporty Spice. Helmets will be swapped out for those silly Sherlock Holmes hats. And all touchdown dances must look something like this. I take that back. That was excessive celebration. <laughs> Too much. Yeah. Um, Michael, Charming. what do you think? It's American football in Great Britain. I was surprised they sold out, and there's a lot of fans there. Oh, listen, I don't care. It's fine. If uh, they like football, we should export some of our uh, best things. What I do not want is England sending our way snooker or cricket. Wait, I mean, what is snooker? A, a, a billiard table with no pockets in it? How do you understand that game? And have you ever tried to follow a cricket match? It goes cricket. on for 17 days. Cricket's fantastic. It's like baseball, but you use a, a an, an Do you oar know how from long a boat, a right? Match yeah, lasts? I don't know. It's, it's millions weeks. Of I think it's great, and they got those white outfits. Uh, it's fantastic, Tim. Yeah. But football, I mean, yeah. it's a rough sport. Right. Do you think they want it now with our concussions? They want them over there. Uh, they're, they're, the English are brutal. Will they're they brutal. stand for yeah. the English uh, national anthem? <laughs> no. No, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know if there are as many fans in London as they say there are. Yeah, because they, they like rugby. They think football is like, uh, no offense, like a girl's thing because everybody wears protective, uh, gear. protective gear instead of just going out there like rugby and just like it is true. No offense to in. the girl. <laughs> to, <laughs> to the but like rugby, everybody's just a bunch of dudes that jump on each other in the middle. It's of the very field. rough. It's very rough. Yeah, yeah. Irish yeah. football, rugby. Right. I mean, they do it without pads. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Cat. Is it? Yes, it is. is it? Yeah. But should, the thing is. Is it amazing, it's yeah. amazing to get hurt more? Yeah. Well, or why do you do that? Look, you've got to see these guys. They just they do love I? what they do. You do, Cat. Do I have to see them? Do you think it makes sense for a team to be flying over the ocean? Uh, it would make it difficult. If Say you had the, ja the Jaguars over there. Uh, how are they going to, you know... The Jaguars? No, yeah. I'm... Uh, look, I don't think anybody needs football that bad. What? I don't like it. I, I should have I, just I, skipped you. I try really hard to like it. Because I want to, like, fit in. And I like drinking and I like snacks. And, and, you know, that's all part of football. Yeah. But it's very long. Yeah, what happens to the snacks? You, you're not gonna have buffalo. You're gonna have like fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shepherd's pie. You can do that. Shepherd's like, pie. Yeah, yeah. Super Bowl. Fish and chips. Yeah, I don't think great so. Great to be here eating this mold vinegar and mushy mm, peas. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's got a shot because uh, since they're a soccer country, yeah. um, with the game this week, and we've already introduced them to the concept of a boring tie. <laughs> and I know that soccer fans love that sort of action. That's right. I, I th well, I think the first thing the NFL should do is try and bring professional football to. Cleveland before they try and bring it overseas. <laughs> right. Now, uh, now we, we also have professional that, that sort of style football in Canada. So we're not even, we haven't even moved into Canada. In fact, the CFL for a couple of years had teams in the United States. The Canadian Football League had teams in the USA. How did we not go to war over that? Why don't we have the combined the way they do in hockey? You know, we're always playing with the uh, It's slightly Canadians. different rules, but I think we should. Come on, let's settle it. Are you Why? Canadian? You keep talking, you keep saying we as if you're Canadian. I'm saying we as a citizen of the United States. I see. I want to know what, uh, how many Fluties are there still left? All the Fluties went up there and played in, in Canada. Yeah, you'd look great with one of those Mountie hats, by here's, the way. Here, here's a question. Yeah. Are they, if football, if American football goes over there, are they going to call it football because they call soccer football there? They so would they call them both football or are they going to call American football soccer and they call soccer football? I think America wins. I mean, we're the ones that you have to go by what we say. Yeah. So you have to change it and yeah. they should not, they should start if, using soccer. If right. we start playing football over there, they have to start calling it soccer. Which is I think it's it. funny that they had Brexit and now they're going to get football yeah. and like yeah. everyone's going to have a gun now. It's yeah. going to be like, wow, this was a turn. Imagine if Trump wins and yeah. he gets football. Trump wins there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like it better because, yeah. when we, Trump Stadium. Yeah. I like it better yeah. when we have sports that 
the rest of the world doesn't play, but we still call our, our teams the world champions. Yeah. I love yeah. that. It's like yeah. in your face. World Series. Intergalactic champions. World yeah. Series. <laughs> right. Well, that's an, oh, America, right? That's like the most American thing to do is care about America only. Yeah. America's Cup, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't we? <laughs> yeah, America's See, America. Cup. <laughs> uh, but the World Series is named the World Series for the World Telegram and Sun. The newspaper is named after a newspaper. Wow. That's, I'm going to digest that. Coming up, <laughs> Andy Levy is here to set the record straight. Stick around for halftime.